Don't be distracted. Yes, I know you were probably done wrong. I understand you were probably lied on, lied about. I understand you've been treated maliciously. I understand all that. But I want you to understand something. To whom much has been given, much is required. And you have been forgiven every sin. He has no record of your wrongdoing. It is far as the east is from the west and the two never meet. It is put in the sea of forgetfulness to never ever be fished up again. He has no record of anything you've ever done because it has been expunged and I'm telling you Perry Mason could not bring it up in court. So I'm not going to be distracted by that. So what's the point of all this, Pastor? If it's self-inflicted and it's satanically initiated or exploited, well, what do I do with it? Well, then you surrender. That's all I'm asking you to do this morning. Just surrender it. Now, I'm going to give you a very quick enclosure. I'm going to give you just very quickly two or three things that you gotta, you're going to have to do. Now, you may not do them this morning, but you're going to walk out of here wounded and walled up, and if you don't hear me, I'm telling you, it will absolutely haunt you, and here's what's got to be scripturally submitted. Number one, you've got to submit whatever you're in to your heavenly Father. you just got to say, God, listen, I'm, if you love me so much that you pierced your only son, do you know that the prophet Isaiah said he was smitten of God? God killed him. Why? Because he became what we were. And when God looked at him, God drew back his hand and he killed you and he killed you and he killed you and he killed me. Why? Because the Son of God who had never done anything, who had never transgressed in thought, deed, or motivation became what I am. And when the Father looked at him, he slew him, paying for everything I've ever done. You just gonna submit it to the Father and say, listen, if you love me so much that you would pierce the rose of Sharon for my transgressions and iniquities, I'm gonna trust you with what I'm in. And I don't fully understand why the wicked are prevailing. I don't understand why the unrighteous are absolutely uh, winning today. But I do know this. I know that their end, their end will not compare to my end. Now you listen to me very carefully. If you're here today and you're lost, you better suck the sap out of life. You better go find every beer. You better go to every brothel. You you better dig in every goat bag. You better do everything you can because the closest to heaven you're ever going to get is what you can do today. But if you're on your way to heaven, I want you to know that this is the closest you'll ever get to hell. There is a day coming when sorrow will not be seen. Tears will not stain that road. Cancer will not be spoken. Chemo will not be allowed. There are no graveyards in glory. There is a great getting up morning coming and your worst day here is the closest you'll ever get to hell. You just submit it to the Father and say, Father, I don't know why we're going through what we're going through, but I know this, what they mean for evil, God means for good. Submit it to the Father.